Election day is less than three weeks away ahead of the big day. I had the chance to go one on one with the Democratic nominee for chief financial officer of Florida. Here's my conversation with Adam Hattersley. Adam, thank you so much for joining us here on NBC6 Impact. Of course. Thank you so much for having me. Glad to be here. So you're running for the position of CFO in the state of Florida. First of all, what does this job entail? Well, the chief financial, officer, uh, chief financial officer role is massive. It's the third highest position in the state. It's on the Florida cabinet. Really has everything to do with your money. It's the state treasurer. It's on. Uh, it's the head of the Office of Insurance Regulation. It's the state fire marshal. It's on the state board of administration for the the pension fund. Uh, so really, anything to do with your wallet. It's supposed to be the state's watchdog and hold government accountable to your tax dollars. So you're an engineer and small business owner, but you also served in the Navy and received a bronze medal. Congratulations for that, and we thank you for your service. So how do you believe these experiences have prepared you for this very important job in the state of Florida? After my time in the service, and I did also do a, a combat tour in Iraq with an Army Special Operations Unit after my time as a nuclear submarine officer, I spent eight years working for a Fortune 500 company doing data and financial analytics and really diving into numbers and understanding how that works. Uh, do keep in mind, you know, I've vastly more experience when it comes to numbers and accounting than uh, I think the past couple of CFOs, including the current. So what, why do you think this would be a good fit for you? Well, it's really kind of goes back to when I was growing up, my father really instilled service into me. It's, it's why I joined the Navy. It's why I volunteered for a combat tour in Iraq. It's why I stood up to run for the Florida legislature when nobody else in my district would. And I actually flipped a seat from, from red to blue in a district that nobody thought I could win. And when I was in Tallahassee, I, I was able to garner a very strong reputation for honesty and integrity and doing what's best for my constituents, regardless of politics. And that's what we need in the CFO's office. We need someone to take politics out of your money. It's, it's not a Democratic issue. It's not a Republican issue. It's not an independent issue. This is an everybody, every Floridian and your family's issue. Everybody has seen their property insurance going up and their rents going up. And we're in a major property insurance crisis. We've seen it coming down the road for over five years. And the current CFO has done nothing to protect Floridians going forward. So we need someone who's ready to tackle that project. So you mentioned the current CFO, Jimmy Patronis. He has held that position since 2017. So how do you think our state is doing financially right now? Well, Florida has been listed as the least affordable state to live in in the entire United States. Our property insurance market has been listed the worst in the entire country. In the past three years, we've seen the average property insurance premium in, in Florida double. And we are now three times the national average. If you're looking at how we are financially, not so great, to be honest. So what would you do differently than the current CFO? So there's a lot of things that we can do. Already, we've had six property insurance companies go insolvent this year alone, plus several others leave the state. We need to improve the, the environment for these companies to operate in Florida. It's both be profitable for them and beneficial for citizens. So they're protected and their rates can go down. We need to keep more capital in the state. We need to look at what other states have done to be successful. Right now, only 9% of the property insurance claims in the United States are in Florida, but over 76% of the legislation, or of the, excuse me, the litigation is here in Florida. There are loopholes the size of school buses that people are, are going through, uh, driving through, and it's driving these costs up and it's increasing risk for property insurance companies. We have to have somebody willing to take on this this effort and lead the effort to close these, these loopholes to save everybody money. And current CFOs had five years to do this and he is not. So it's, it's time for, for somebody else to, to start protecting your wallet. This, this particular race, it's not about politics. It's about your wallet. Well, we're going to have to leave it there. We have less than three weeks to go to election day. We wish you good luck, Adam. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me on.